reports from Egypt indicate the sale of Barclays assets in the country have attracted bids from the two largest banks in Morocco and the United Arab Emirates. Now, the UK-based lender is seeking to offload its African operations. However, Barclays has struggled to sell the businesses as a joint entity. Yasser Hakim has more on that. It's a bold move by the relative new new CEO, Jess Staley, who's been in the job for less than a year. He wants to sell a unit that's been in Egypt since 1864. The bank's equity value is around $400 million. Morocco's Atijari Wafa and the Dubai-based Emirates MBD have lodged their bids for acquisition. But the National Bank of Abu Dhabi has pulled out of the race. There are no details yet, but the winning bidder will take over a hefty 56 branches that serve 127,000 customers across the country. However, analysts point out that Barclays Egypt has been affected by the global market slowdown and the depreciation of the local currency. The bank says it wants to simplify the structure and improve shareholder returns. And the Egypt unit is not the only one going under the axe. Barclays is also reducing its stake in other African countries, such as South Africa and Zimbabwe. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.